Hello, beautifuls and beloveds. I hope this finds you well today. So, I am going to bleh, I'm going to talk to you today. Ten things on my mind came out at the same time right there. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to talk to you today about hair accessories for the dancer at any age and uh, discuss a little bit about ballet buns too. Now, I've got the weird hair. Your hair might not be as weird as mine, but mine, essentially, what happens is I can make a bun in two seconds and it stays in pretty good as long as I don't start whipping around real quickly to do a lot of consecutive tours, turns. So, let me show you a couple ways to do a ballet bun or just a bun in general. So I have really curly hair and if you have really curly hair, you probably have the same complaint and gripes that I do. It's really hard to get it slicked back. And you know, I can do it with a lot of effort, but for this video, I'm not gonna knock myself out to do it. So, and since I don't have anybody else in the studio with long hair like I do, I am stuck doing it myself. Um, now, where you place your bun, talk to your choreographer, what style you're doing, balancing, classical, what, whatever. Um, this is a very high bun and uh, it's somewhat messy. Please forgive me. But there. And my hair will stay in place like this. I'm sure you've seen me in the videos putting it up like this, messing around with it. I'm very antsy. The pain is unbelievable. So I <laughs> try to distract myself doing anything possible, even when I'm on camera. So this is a valid look. Um, if you're performing, don't just do what I just did. It usually holds up for me in class as long as I'm not, you know, whipping out a lot of turns. But use bobby pins, something to fasten it. Um, this is a very high bun. It's very stylish right now and the messy look. So it works well with my hair. But if you're doing classical ballet, you don't want it to look like that. You're going to have to get with your choreographer and say, look, this is what I can do with my hairstyle, my hair type. Is this acceptable? Um, you can use some hair gel. I tend to use olive oil and that really slicks it back really nice, but it won't stay that way. The second I take it out, you know, humidity, it'll start curling and frizzing. My hair is very hard. People with curly hair, it's, it's rough, isn't it? But God bless it too at the same time, right? Okay, so that's a valid bun. Um, another bun you can do, and that's very high. Another one is low, and I'm not gonna make it perfect looking, guys. But here, at the nape of the neck, which is a low bun right here as like this. That was just really quick. And I had to wear it like that once for a contemporary piece for a performance. And again, it worked well for my hair. Now another one, whew, this hair is driving me batty. So I'm gonna actually put it in an elastic. I highly recommend when you do a bun, you put it in an elastic. Why? It'll keep it really secure and tight. I battle with migraines, so I don't really like to do it that often. You've seen me wear my ponytails, and I love ponytails, pigtails, it's just all fun. Uh, another placement is here. And what this is, is uh, think of that movie Alien, right? Uh, the head was very angled and exaggerated, an, an exaggerated human form. And if you look at the angle of our, the way our heads are shaped, it's kind of like that, but not as much. So you want to have it right there at the, the, what is the right word for this? Right where your, your personal angle ends, right? Ow, right here. Sloppy again. I'm just doing this really quick. Someday I'm gonna make a real beautiful nice video And if you want that for yourselves, this is not gonna be that video I'm just doing this real quick to show you but right here. See how it Right here At the where a point would be I actually have a dent in my head uh, so I can find it real easy and then you just 
twist it or you could braid it. Oh, braids are beautiful. And you shove it up like so. And then you've got your bun here. Now let's take it a step further. Where is my little snood? Okay, come on now. Okay, this is called a snood. I also have one that's a net. It's, um, it's a, a black crocheted net. Legitimate too. Now this one you wear at the nape of your neck, right here. And then you put your bun in here. But let's just say for the sake of expediency, um, I don't necessarily want to wear this here. Or maybe my choreographer does, you know, and they say, here, wear this and do this. But you want to protect the bun and you shove it in the snood, like so. And it helps keep in little fray little hairs and it keeps it really neat. And this one actually works kind of nice underneath the bun. I don't know if you can see that, but see right here. Um, and you know, it's perfectly legitimate to do as well. Uh, some teachers require, I've taken classes that were extremely strict and they required us to have it perfect. If you didn't have a perfect bun, you had to go and leave the room and make it perfect to where it uh, just pull your hair back. So it's not flopping all over your face. And you know, you, or you know, you could put a ponytail or if you wanted to, you could go extreme and very traditional, but so make sure you find out <laughs> what you need to do and do your best to do it. Uh, another way is using these, I like to call them little donuts. I always think of, you know, Princess Leia little ear things. And you use the donut and you just thread your hair or your dancer's hair through whoever's hair you're working on. And it looks like this, almost like a big uh, fabric, scrunchable elastic with all that fabric. Um, and then you want to take the hair and you work it. I don't have the time to do it right now, but just very quickly, you work it around the donut. My curly hair doesn't do it very well here, but you work it around the donut until it is completely covered. This part, I need a mirror, but until you get all the hair under there this is gonna make a holy mess when I take it out. Just want to give you guys an idea. You got futz with it a little bit. And they come in larger sizes. Oh my. <laughs> and you could put an elastic here, like so. Let me show you this real quick. And it'll smooth it out even more and it'll help keep it tucked underneath the bun form. Hey, how does this look? I can't really see. I think it's good. Yeah, I mean, I've got really curly hair and I didn't brush it out and show you. Like I said, I'm gonna make a really nice one where you can see it with somebody with really slick hair. Won't be mine. <laughs> so that is also legitimate. And placement, again, ask your choreographer and parents, moms or dads, we have moms and dads very interested in their child's education, uh, dance education, you know, let, let your, uh, your daughter or even son, they don't have to really, but I've had some kids, boys who had very long, beautiful hair too. And they wanted to know, the parents, how can my son wear his hair? So we figured out a real cool way to do it. Very uh, Errol Flynn, shall we say. And it worked great. So a man bun. <laughs> um, so ask, ask if it's your instructor, your choreographer, whoever it is, how would you like me to do it? And these come in different sizes, thicknesses and uh, different surfaces 
circumferences and you can make all sorts of exciting designs with them. I, I really enjoy the process. Um, when I first went back to ballet after the cancer treatment I had, uh, I was not so fortunate to be able to continuously braid and put my hair up in ways that would please my teacher, not to be disobedient but uh, the fingers just couldn't do it. And I felt quite foolish as a mature adult saying, um, teacher, can you do my hair? <laughs> you know, and I only had men folk at home. I don't want them anywhere near my hair. No offense, no offense. <laughs> but right, you feeling me on that ladies? Some guys are great at hair. My men folk are not. So I didn't want them coming anywhere near it. And I was stuck. So I'm like, okay, well, uh, I guess it's just going to be plain old pigtails because I can't, I couldn't. My fingers, I had that uh, weird joint thing going on and uh, that was the best that I could do. But every once in a while I was able to put it up real pretty and really work on it. Sometimes I would put little baby's breath in it and uh, you know, just try to look very elegant. And other things you can do after you put the bun up, you can put this on the, uh, I really wish I had somebody else's head here, but let me get a darker color. You can put a scrunchie around it, right? Pretend that there's hair under here and a head and uh, you just thread that through. This is a little small, but I've got bigger scrunchies or you could do um, a scarf too. I've done this before. Oops, something just pitched. You could do a scarf and wrap it around underneath the bun. You know, that's lovely. Or you have the bun here or here, and then you can do a beautiful, you know, or underneath and up. Ask what's acceptable and uh, have fun with it. This was actually given to me by one of my, one of, one of my favorites. I have a lot of favorites. Uh, dance instructors, friends, I should call this person's more of a friend now, uh, and I've never gotten rid of it and I never will. I totally love this. I've used this in a few dance pieces actually. It was a lot of fun. Um, okay, so this is just a very rough overview. When I have time, like I said, I really want to do a real nice series of dance hairstyles, but just for now. Um, I once did a dance called um, Storm, and it was very challenging to do because not only did I have intricate makeup, oh, this is getting thrashed, not only did I have intricate makeup to put on, I also had to figure out a way to put my hair up in such a way that it would look elegant and it would stay. And I didn't want to just do a bun because it would have been too ballet-like. But I wanted to do something elegant. So what I did was I did a low twist and then I kept twisting it upwards, essentially a French twist. And then I put these combs in it in the back. So that covered the twist and then these dug in. But I also had to put, I found out, uh, bobby pins. I almost said safety pins. No safety pins in your skull. Um, bobby pins. So when I put these bobby pins in, it really held it nicely. See, this is so thrash. These things just don't last long. They're so beautiful, expensive too. It was like a $10 item. But it looked really, really good. Macabre and beautiful. And I wanted something black because it looked really nice up against my like bright red hair. And it was just exact like uh, opposite color. It shows up really, really nice. And you can buy these in white pearls, not real ones, or I'm sure you can get them in real pearls, but yeah, a lot of different styles, gold, whatever you need. And if you can't afford that, another way, let me see, to do that same style, oh, here there, is to get combs. Wire ones work better with this. Let's see if I can find all my little combs here. Here we go. Perfect. Okay, so you could, 
basically it's the same thing. It digs in the hair. And I've done this before. I did this before anyone was really doing this because this was not made for this. But you interlace them. And I used to have metal ones that were jagged like this and they really, you know, clung. And I would do this. This was before the banana clips came out. And I did it here to make like a high ponytail look well what the banana clips do and then people started coming out with those plastic banana clips you know they were about that long different sizes but mostly they were about that long and you could make like a nice uh, it reminded me of a horse's mane how it would gather it all together really cool looking but you know I was doing that with these things. This is not exactly what I had. That was going back a little bit. Um, but it was fun to do. And uh, you can simulate it by doing that. And you might have to put some bobby pins in it. But you might have to get a couple, you know, two here and then two right below it. And it looks kind of cool. Uh, another, oh, another thing you could do. Sorry, let me back up. When you have a bun, oh, I love doing this because it looks very pretty. Who doesn't like to look pretty in dance class? This is one of my favorites. Cheap little thing, but it never broke. I bought others that were made of plastic and they just kept snapping. I don't know if it was my head or I was just pulling them apart too much. But, you know, like this. And it's just a very simple little touch. And you want to make sure that your hair doesn't fall apart in the middle of class. I know it drove some of my teachers crazy. My hair really didn't fall apart in class. That wasn't too much of my problem. But you, you do want to test it out. And it, it clung to my head enough and it didn't give me migraines. You can get the elastic headbands too. I have a lot of them. The elastic ones are great. The metal ones, just be careful, don't give yourself a migraine. I always had to be careful with that aspect of it. Um, oops, something just fell. You can buy all sorts of kinds. Of, all, yeah. Thank you, beloved. Yes. See? And it kind of separates it and makes like different parts. This is leather and elastic. You know, same, same thing, guys. This is fun and also a pain in the neck, but. You can thread your hair through this. It makes some really cool looking designs. People will say, where do you get all this stuff? Some of it I made too, my own makeshift stuff. And these are little kitty ears. Don't wear these in class unless it's Halloween and unless your teacher gives you permission because they'll probably freak out. But, you know, if we, we were told, hey, it's going to be Halloween, sometimes I actually dressed up, and uh, it's really hard to dance when you're dressed up in a costume, especially if you have fins on, it's not going to happen. So, uh, you know, I just kind of stuck with this after a while. My little kitty ears. What else? Uh, you know, roses. There's all sorts of beautiful things you can get. Just make sure they don't fall off your head while you're dancing and all should be good. Um, this is really great to another little, oh, I gotta re repair the elastic. The elastic has seen better days. I'm gonna have to put a new elastic in here. But you put this around either your ponytail or your bun and you got a nice little flippy thing going on here. Kind of throwing back to the mid to late 50s. And then I would make my own little elastic headbands too, just to keep my hair out of my face and all these you remember these guys you know these pull my hair apart like nothing else and are very annoying but they look so pretty um there's different headbands you can use and, you know again put this around your bun so you have something there Looks a little prettier. I don't know. I usually dance better if I've looked the part. If I, uh, excuse me. I know I got my little walk around shorts on. Um, you know, this is another headband, you know, 
put it around here, do -do -do, like so, however you want to dress it up. And they're fun. When I was first getting back to dancing, I was just lucky to be alive. I did not look the part at all. I knew it. I wasn't trying to be disrespectful, but it was all I had. I didn't have any money. I didn't have anything. I was so broke. And I'm like, do we have any elastics? Can I just put my hair up somehow? There you go. And sometimes I just couldn't put my hair up because when I get migraines, it's like horrible horrible pain and anything pulling on it. If you get migraines, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But you don't want to not go to class and get marked down. And Same thing as a teacher. I didn't want to necessarily miss teaching, not get a paycheck, and then they don't call you anymore because you're calling in sick too much, you know. So you do it in pain, right? What else are you going to do? Um, so yeah. This gives you a whole bunch of ideas. Now these things, good lord. My mother gave me this when I was a little girl. I've got a few of them still. A lot actually, shouldn't say just a few. So over the years, these have evolved. This is cheap plastic, this is too, but it it's actually an evolved, look, butterfly. It's an evolved, design and it has little rubber grippy things here this is great if you want to wear your hair here this is what i would resort to and this is legitimate if you're not doing any floor work in your dance performances but you want a nice little clip to keep the hair out this doesn't pull too much but it keeps it out of the way so if you had a teacher saying i don't care you don't have to wear a bun but just keep it out of the way this is i would do something like this or a very low something you know i'll put an elastic keep it low but it looks kind of pretty i don't know if you can see that very easy and it doesn't slip out because of the little rubber grippy things and the teeth oh and this one i really I really like this is a newer one to my collection I can grip most of my hair my hair is so thick I can grip most of my hair in this and that's another thing you have to think about the thickness of your hair oh and the slip the, the texture the slip of your hair um, mine the blessing and curse at the same time being curly hair things get stuck in it easier which is good if you want to keep a clip in there it doesn't tend to fall out as easy but um, as long as I'm not whipping around doing really fast turns so that's a good thing but then again doing the buns getting it really slick is a challenge um, let's see ow what else oh here's the other one that my mother gave me do you know how old is it show my age a little bit I care not but and this is another one I like these, you know, really keeps my hair in place. I've got so much hair. Uh, what else? These are little tricks that I learned. Say if I found like a flower and I wanted to use it as a costume piece, I would get these little clippy things and just slip it through the non safe safety pin. Um, and then you can't attach that to your hair. It doesn't stay in. And then that way you can just do something like that and it would stay in and not fall out. You learn these little tricks, you know, as you go through your dance career and teaching career as well. Um, and then, you know, you can get these really cool, whoops, decorative little little clips. They're not meant to really hold your hair back. It's just to decorate so it doesn't look as plain. And you could just slip them in your hair and, uh, you know, these are my mother's and you know, cheap little things. And it just makes everything look prettier. Now dress the part. That is not supposed to be in here. So my mother was ever the most creative person with especially hair stuff. And she would love to bring back little trinkets from wherever she went. This is from um, St. Martin. And 
as a dancer, even then, I had less hair, and I would, or she would, just fasten this atop my bun or whatever kind of class I was taking, and it would help because it would keep my hair somewhat in place, and yeah, as long as I wasn't doing floor work and rolling around, this wouldn't hurt my head. This was hers. I love it, and um, it's really good for French twists. It's metal, so it has a little bit of bend, but I don't want to, you know, press my luck with that because I don't want it to break, so I've used this for a lot of different pieces, and it just makes me feel like she's with me when I'm dancing. What else can I show you guys? Make sure you test, like I said, with the shoes. Test all these out before you actually perform. Otherwise, you may be S-O-L, and you're going to have a lot of problems. Okay, this is great. Can I demonstrate this? These are actually a patented tool, hair tool. I didn't come up with it, obviously. But what you're supposed to do is you make a ponytail and you thread the ponytail through this, like a needle. Here, let me just do it on the side here. It'll be quicker. Come on now. Okay. And then you take the tip, there's a lot of different things you can do with this. This is just one basic thing. And you thread it through here. And if you're really skilled, you don't even need one of these, but, and then you've got a little, nice little thing here. And you can put another elastic here and then do it again. There's so many different designs you can do and it keeps the hair really neat. And it's just something pretty to do. And I like to do that. So these are really great tools as well, and I find that it gives you a lot of options, especially if you're a choreographer or a dancer who wants to bring something to the table and say, hey, if they ask for it, uh, ideas to how to wear the hair. Uh, say if you gotta do a bow, this is something that uh, I gave my little kids teaching them and it's like okay so we're gonna put these little bows in the hair how do we get them to stay because I made a whole bunch of these little bows for my little dancers and so I'm fooling around with this and playing around with it with some of the moms and we all came up with this idea together so I already made the bows and I was like I didn't want to use a metal thing because I didn't want it sticking out from the barrette because, as you will see, here we go. Anything that has this kind of a, a barrette is going to stick out as high as the barrette is. I didn't want that. I really wanted it flush, but I wanted a bow. It looked cute. So we just threaded the little bobby pins on the back part of the loop of the bow. And then we could just stick it in the hair like so with cute little buns and um, you know it was flush to the head because I again I, the profile like profile of a shoe I don't like things flipping around necessarily unless the piece calls for it and the piece did not call for that so that's what we did I love these little net bags mesh bags it's great to keep your accessories I have so many different kinds little these little alligator clips you ever see these before these are really great you can make some really cool modern designs with them but they're very small they're meant for children but even for adults and you could just put a whole bunch of these all around and it creates this really cool look and you can make knots and put them around the knots uh, there's so much you can do, guys. Explore and have fun. I once gave some barrettes to one of my dance teachers. I was like, I don't know what to do. 
I just want to say we're friends. I'm not trying to harm you in any way. And uh, here, will this help? I, I really was at a loss to know what to do. Sorry. Okay. In class, uh, for bobby pins, your teacher may or may not have a preference. Good if they don't. Yeah, if they do, see. If they, if they seem to be sticklers, you might want to ask. I had a teacher that was very much into the hair and it had to be uh, a high bun. Um, and one night I had to get the perfect balancing bun. I'm like, oh, that's gonna be a lot of work. Part, no part, where do you want the part? They can be like that. But uh, most, most for like two-year colleges and stuff, most of them, they don't really care as long as it's out of your face. There's all kinds of bobby pins, all different colors. Some have little doodads on them. Some like this one that was my mother's, little beads. I've got things with them. I really don't want to take all of them out, but you can see all of this. Little butterflies. Ask to see what's acceptable. If you've never danced before, especially, find out that you're a teacher forever. You know, little, little stuff. It's fun. And sometimes, is another little trick, I have used bracelets to put around or use as hair ties. If I couldn't find a hair tie, you know, something like that. And it would work. Again, check and see what's acceptable. But you also have to do what makes you feel good too. There's a happy medium, I believe. Um, look what I found, ladies and gentlemen. These are the original. Like I said, this is the very recent updated hair combs. This is what I was using before the banana clips. Can you believe this? Look at this. These are like ancient. Can you see that? Yeah. They, they've, they've seen better days. And this one's in much better shape. These are wire and uh, this lost a lot of teeth. I used them a lot. But before the banana clips came out, this is what I used. And this, see, it doesn't pull apart that easy and it's probably why all these teeth are lost and that's what I would use how I was saying how it was jagged see how they're jagged there the little cone teeth that was a surprise I didn't think I'd find those I thought I ditched those years ago here's a smaller version of them of them these them <laughs> little designs all of it's legitimate people all of it is great Ask and see what your choreographer wants, or if you're the choreographer, decide. And it's very helpful to dancers. I've had talks with my dancers. They like it when I actually provide them here, go here. And sometimes I give a stipend depending on our budget. They like that too. Here's a stipend, go get this. Or I just purchase it myself and uh, that's my little gift to them. Here, now you have a gift to remember your dance because uh, I had trouble one year, somebody, well not one year, upon occasion, no names, and I mean nothing by it, but our costumes are disappearing. People were wanting to keep them for mementos and I'm like, mm -mm. this costs a lot of money unless you want to replace it. If I was extremely rich, and I had a lot of time, I wouldn't care, but I do care, and I don't have a lot of money and a lot of time, so, not to be mean, but I just can't afford to let people take everything. <laughs> um, trying to see what other hair care things, um, you know, they make these things too, that's a legitimate thing, it's not going to be seen, 
that well unless your hair design is designed for it and you know put a side pony or a long ponytail or a small one it would probably work somewhat somewhat little hair clips see how organized i like to keep things guys otherwise it'd be a holy mess what else a couple little things here oops these go here um other little ornamentational things you can do maybe not so much for class it might be a little too much but you know if your teacher doesn't care and you just want to feel beautiful then go for it but these are little velcro-y jewels i don't know if you could see these here i'll show you one with the bottom and one with the top so you can kind of gather i have no idea if you're going to be able to focus on these and see them but the one, use this. this is the back and the bottom and they have that plastic Velcro part, not the fabric, you know, fleece like stuff, but the plastic things, these grip in your hair and this is just a, you know, rhinestone. And you just shove them in your hair. I've lost things in my hair before and you just place them. Uh, it's not going to work. Um, but you just put them in your hair and it looks very nice. The straighter and more slick and sleek back your hair is, the more things like this will look better. If you, let's put it this way, the curlier and bigger your hair is, you need to use bigger ornamentation. And again, for this, for me to make it work, I have spent a lot of time kind of straightening my hair, pain in the rear end, but it looked great once I finally got it to work. So that may be it, guys. I'm trying to see if I have any other little things here. I think that might be it. So um, again, you know, it's really kind of cool to be able to play with your hair and uh, give your choreographer or instructor what they need either for a class or for a performance. I highly recommend getting some kind of little bag and put your little hair things in that little bag. You know, you could use a little makeup bag, you know, like this. What I came to do is this, because um, my hair would actually break, break free. This is like a creation and creature unto its own self. So I started wearing my hair bands like bracelets and apparently it caught on <laughs> to be worn as bracelets. I was just doing it to, uh, you know, my elastic breaks in my hair. Oh, well, I can fix that real quick. And it would be right here instead of me having to walk across the room, walk to my bag, get some elastics out, find the elastics. And then sometimes I would wear, wear them like this because it, it's just interesting and my teacher would say what's wrong with your hand or what's that I said it's just my hair elastics I don't know I'm just wearing it like this and actually when I was trying to get out of the habit of you know doing like a you know very feminine or a Dr. Seuss hand right I wanted to keep my hands like this so I started training myself by putting elastics a certain way it worked <laughs> and it has like that gauntlet look right with gauntlet is just ornamentation a, a glove that comes down to here it's very goth looking and um you know it was fun it's started a little trend in style so i'm like cool this is a shower curtain ring and i only had one left and i started putting my hair elastics on it because i like to organize and now apparently it's a thing Okay, I've made videos with that already, so who knows? They're already stealing my stuff on more levels than one, so... Could be... Uh, what else? I guess that's about it, beloved. Oh, one more thing. This I did not come up with, but this is... Cardboard's still stuck in it. But this actually separates where my bobby pins. The bobby pins, if you can't use your nails to get them 
up and separated. Basically, wait, let me put it here against my pale skin. You use this and you push and it separates them and you just stick it in your hair. Very easy to use. Or if you have nails like this, same thing. See how I did that? Just go like this. You can kind of use your finger too. This is a very wide bobby pin mouth. Usually they're not this wide and they're real pain, but those little things work. I forgot where I got that. I bought it someplace. You can also use an eraser that's shaped that way. Anything that's shaped that way you can stick in between your uh, bobby pins uh, alligator mouth part. And there you have it. So uh, yeah, get little bags, mesh bags, so you have it. Um, you can wear your your hair elastics on your wrist if you have hair like mine that just simply needs to break free and be free. There you have it. Well, I think about that about covers all of it. And again, um, if you have any tips you want to share. We have uh, in the past, and they are no longer on our uh, company timeline, or what, what is this called, channel? I don't know what the term is. We used to have other people say, hey, can you post my hair tip? And I'm like, sure, why don't you send it in? And it posed other problems, so we stopped doing that. But if you have a tip, share it in the links below. and people will see yours as well as ours and maybe we'll have you as a guest featured guest and you can either model or we could uh, have you show us one of your hair hair tips and hairstyles that you don't mind sharing but other than that guys you know have fun with it and uh, bless you God bless you and have a really great rest of your what is it week weekend where are we in the week? I think it's almost the weekend, yeah? Okay. Bye.